Alright, good evening, boys, girls, and those who haven't decided yet. I've got a Philco 41250 radio AM police band, which is probably no longer existing police band, and overseas, which I think is shortwave. Um, they called this the log cabin radio based on kind of the way the face was done, I think. Um, cabin is not in bad shape. This was donated to our channel. And uh, again, I'm sure it was probably uh, something passed down through the family. And it was rumored to work at one time, but uh, probably doesn't now. As far as the knobs go, the volume knob is stiff as a board. I can make it turn, but it probably just needs to be lubricated. Uh, it's just stiff as a board. The only pot here we have a bass volume bands and tuning so I figure we'll pull this out of the cabinet here see if it looks like it's going to explode and maybe plug it in and see if it does go get a fire extinguisher okay well three of the four bolts that hold the chassis into the radio were there and I don't think this has ever been worked on this is from 1941 we got electrolytic caps, we got wax caps, we got more wax caps, we've got a couple of those, I think those are probably mica caps, maybe they're paper in there, and we got more wax caps, so let's get a quick count, now granted we have no idea if these resistors are all even in tolerance or anything close, or if the tubes are any good, we got no idea, so Okay, so we got one cap hiding under there that's going to be a nightmare to get to. I'd have to unbolt all this coils and stuff, but see, all this is soldered on. <laughs> okay, for one cap under there. And then this would need realignment, which I don't have the equipment to do. I'm not a radio guy, I'm an amplifier guy, but I wasn't sure what condition we'd find it in, so it's at least worth looking. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve wax caps that surprisingly don't look that exploded. And then I think there's essentially three electrolytics there. Uh, okay. And. Let's take a look at our tubes. The speaker fortunately has a plug, so I was able just to unplug the speaker and come in here and take a look. <sighs> we want to actually restore this, obviously, as well as removing the dirt. We would be probably replacing these buttons, which the plastic deteriorates, as well as the face, which you saw was deteriorated. Deteriorated. And then we got to clean all this stuff. And we've got our tubes, period correct to Coke bottle tubes. A few of these say Raytheon on them as opposed to Philco, so uh, probably not the original tubes. I'm going to switch back there labeled local and distance. So here's the $2 question. Do we just... Uh, Evaluate because to get the to f to clean the cabinet up and make that look nice is not going to be hard. To take care of the plastic cosmetics and replace the few missing knobs and that kind of stuff, we're probably looking at seventy-five, eighty dollars, and then all of our other stuff. So we're probably going to have to drop a hundred dollars into this thing to get it even close to right, as well as cleaning it up. But maybe on this channel we can just have a little bit of fun with it and see what happens. I can trot over and get the fire extinguisher and plug the speaker back into it and turn it on. Does that sound like fun? Yeah, okay, maybe. so the knobs are poorly marked. I put some schmoo in the volume pot there to loosen it up so now I can turn it. And I plug the speaker in. I got the cabinet sitting back behind. So, And I have a fire extinguisher handy in case we need it. So plug it in and see if anything explodes. Probably not because it's off. 
but you never know. So. All right. So we're going to do this not the smart way. We're going to do this the Shango way. Of course, he actually takes these things outside instead of leaving them in the house when you're trying to burn down the place. Okay. So if I put that on there, that thing just at me. That's probably just static. It's staticky. Okay, there's what I think would be on. I don't have any lights. I got nothings. A whole lot of nothing. Do we have any tubes lighting up? No. Is the power button one of these things? Let's look. I actually had a console radio, one of the tall floor standards, that was this style. Oh yes, this is the power button. So this will make it explode. Okay. There's light. No smoke. But light. And this is our volume knob, so. Oh, lovely filter. something happen and there's a ton of there's a ton of hum so obviously it needs filter caps um, I don't have an antenna on it and we're in a basement so expecting to pick up anything is silly to think I could but obviously we know that that sound is filter capacitor so that would be those electrolytics that are not doing anything but it made sound, so the fact that it made sound convinces me that at least it kind of wants to be a radio. The I think that's that's a field coil speaker it's got on it, so the speaker works. So this is actually a reasonable candidate to get fixed. Um, I don't know. So anyway, now we know what we have. We have a radio that needs capacitors and probably some resistors but I'm thinking resistors, capacitors and then we have to deal with the cosmetics on the front and now the question is is how much do you love radios and how much you know do you want to see this thing fixed and that's always a tough question because this is probably like forty five dollars for a replacement because these things always shrink and go out of whack a set of those is about twenty bucks probably 40 bucks on a set of knobs and then we gotta spit and polish that and then we gotta recap all this stuff so is it worth the money and the, the work or is this something you polish up and put on a shelf I don't know but uh, anyway thought we'd take a look at it have a little bit of fun with it but uh, it's pretty much what I had expected we have a potential radio coming back to life, but it will need filter caps. I was told that, well, it was work, It worked before we put it away, and I said, well, how long ago was it put away? And it was about, oh, 30 years, 30 years ago, so, um, yeah, we're looking at like 60-year-old filter caps. Uh, they're not feeling too well. All right, no more rambling. I'm just going to cash out. Um, humorously enough, underneath the chassis, I found a thing from Jim Holton's radio and television in Columbus, Ohio. So uh, that may have been where it came from or was purchased from at one time or another. That was laying in the cabinet along with a lot of dust rabbits. Thanks for watching.